What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So, you know, obviously we're getting in December, right? And uh, this is, you know, I think this is a big month for a lot of people out there. No matter what you celebrate, whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas or Kwanzaa or Quasi or anything out there. I mean, if you don't celebrate and you don't believe in the holidays or Christmas, it should be still, you should feel the, the spirit of a holiday, right? Well, you guys still drive past the Christmas lights on the street, okay? Yeah. So we, we got at least, you're going to see the lights and it. it's got to make yeah. you feel a little jolly inside. Yeah, so... You know, every week me and Sharice like to talk about tips and tricks or things that are really going to help your relationship. We're going to expand off that. Maybe, you know, make your life better, you know, quality of life, improve it, whatever it may be. You know, so we give this, these tips, tricks, and info every week to maybe help you or benefit you in all these different ways. And I hope it's helping, you know, because God knows we've went through a lot of trials and tribulations and people we've known have went through these. And we kind of try to learn from our experiences so we, re we don't repeat history no, in a negative way. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> but you know this uh, this topic you know this week I think we're going to talk about getting in the Christmas spirit or holiday spirit if you don't celebrate Christmas right and I think it's important I think it's a really really important thing especially the way that our current environment or climate is with everybody that's out there of having almost two years of COVID and all these different problems and things that you know a lot of people have had to deal with um, so at that point you know this month in particular we should really take things back to the way it used to be. Um, now, what is Christmas about? And I'm just gonna do Christmas because I celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate a different holiday, just apply it to that, <laughs> right? So, you know, when you get in the Christmas spirit, you know, it should mean a couple of different things for you. One, you should be in a better mood. You should really be in a better mood. And it's a little bit easier for me, I guess, because I have my family and stuff like that. If you don't have a family, it might be a more depressed mood right now because you see everybody that has their families or their loved ones, and you're like, man, I wish I had that. That's understandable. But you can still get in the Christmas spirit. You can still be jolly. You don't want to be Scrooge, right? You know what happened to Scrooge. He got visited by all those ghosts, and they terrorized him all night. And he finally realized that he was blessed. And he should be getting the Christmas spirit, and he should be happy. And I think that's a big thing that's that, that we're not doing right now. We're more selfish than ever, I think, is a population yeah. all the way around it's getting pretty bad out there and uh it's just getting worse and worse and <clears throat> what christmas and that spirit should really be about is giving back right and this isn't just giving material items when you know people think of christmas nowadays like when you ask a kid like oh i hope i get a whole bunch of presents that's not really what christmas is about christmas is about giving back to people and if it's not a gift, it could be your time, it could be you know love, it could be whatever it is, but you're giving something to somebody, and it's better than receiving. In my eyes, you know, I like to give a lot more than I like to receive. Yeah. Not to say I don't like to receive some things or some gifts or he whatever it is. He likes receiving some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is this true? Uh, uh, I like to give too, uh, yes. and I think that that's what it, what makes this month better than any other month, because when you give something to somebody. You enlighten their day most of the time. So you're making their day or their month happier, right? You're enlightening them with these great memories because they've received something from you that they didn't think they were going to receive. And that could be a card. It could be a gift. Like I said, it could be your time or it could just be the love that you're giving them. And I think this is really important because, you know, if you do have a family, you know, what are you teaching your kids? And what are those kids going to learn? And what are those kids going to pass on to the future generations? What have they learned from us? Right? So I think that's a big, big thing out there. And I think it's, it's been a lost message um, with everybody being so sensitive in, in today's time. It's, it's crazy that some people don't say Merry Christmas no more or some people don't say Happy Holidays no more 
because they're worried about what the person is going to say back to them. Yeah. Are they going to be upset about it? Probably, maybe not. Maybe so. You just don't know. Not I guess. really. I mean, I mean, I know that we usually say. I told I told the girls when they're writing back in text messages and stuff like uh-huh. that. I'm like, listen, you could if you depending on what their status is because they they're sharing their status. Of course, you can either say Merry Christmas or you can say Happy Holidays, but yeah. you need to say one of them for sure. Not just like you know, have a good one or you know, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the year. Talk to you next year. <laughs> Talk to you next year. You know, because I mean, even if we if, even if we bypass Christmas, right? We still have the New Year and the New You and. A new everything. So it's just it, the whole month of December should be a, like a collective review of just a good, happy feeling. You know, hopefully, hopefully you're recapping the whole year and some of it may be good. Some of it might be bad. But we all know that, right, the, that whole year that you've, you know, tacked on to this lovely <laughs> group of years that you have going that, you know, whether it was good or bad, you must have learned something from it. Right. Mm-hmm. Learn something from something. And it made you better. Can't say it ever. I, I'm really in very, very seldom cases has it made you worse, right? It's made you better. You know, so you've learned from something. I know that I know I've learned from something this year. I know he's learned from something this year Absolutely. that has made you a better person, right? Absolutely. So, you know, I guess you could think of December as, you know, instead of it just being like uh, Christmas or whatever it might be, if a lot of people are just not wanting to believe in that or whatever it is, to just be better. You know, we can call it the Be Better Month. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it really, Christmas should be reflecting uh, on the whole year and, you know, not just New Year's, but, you know, Christmas itself or the holiday itself. Um, it should be meaningful to you, and you should be able to pass these things on to your children or to your friends or loved ones, whoever it is. Like I said, you don't want to be the Scrooge, right? So, you know, I'm not going to say that you're going to be happy or jolly every day, but you know, to be in a better mood and to, you know, wish somebody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is, will probably make that person's day a little bit better, you know? And if you go out of your way and do something for them, they're probably gonna remember that, right? And they're gonna be more grateful for that too as well. And that should make you feel better too. Um, that's one, one thing, you know, that I feel. Like when I give something to somebody, um, true genuine form it makes me feel good it makes me feel good because i'm like man i'm like you know these people are going to benefit from this or it's going to help them or they're really going to like this and i get a smile on my face about that like it's it just it's something that makes me feel good and i think that'll make a lot of people out there feel good and not getting caught up in all the drama and all the garbage that's out there and really focus on the holiday spirit right and that could be decorating with your family it could be cooking cookies with them um having a I mean, great I didn't dinner even cook cookies so i met john that's right. And that's isn't that crazy? Cookie time. Mom, I love you. I know you're watching the show. I know, I know. Okay, don't tell me you cook cookies with me because me and you cook cookies. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. You did other stuff. You don't. I mean, wrap presents yeah, and stuff. It I, was fun. And, and this <laughs> this month sets traditions. Right. Right. And it sets tra- traditions for whatever your family or whatever you believe in. So at that point. You should make it a point to follow these traditions and to instill and ingrain these traditions with your family and with your loved ones. Mm -hmm. And that way every year you guys are looking forward to doing those traditions, whatever it may be. Because in Florida, it don't snow here. So it's not like we can go outside and make snowmen, right? No, and not even that, but like it literally doesn't feel like Christmas. Like it doesn't. Listen, you go outside and you're in a tank top. I know he's from Chicago, so it feels like it's it's Christmas for him no matter what. It's Christmas no like, matter what. The sun's out. I get to go outside and get a tan. That's it's right. Christmas, right? That's right? For me, I'm like, I've never seen Christmas before. This is Christmas. Like, you know, it's just it's summer all year long. So it's sunny outside. It's like literally like 80 degrees. You know, there's no snow. And I'm over here like, I want to build a snowman. We have to go to, like, these little globe places yeah. that uh, shoot out the the icy snow stuff. Almost yeah. like a, sn- what is it, the snow machine thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go there, like, they had one. It was a lot of fun, let me just yeah. say that. But, like, they had a snow globe thing, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, it's going to be so cool. And we, like, got dressed and, you know, put a little mitten things on. This was last year. And we go into this little snow globe thing with Peter and, um, you know, went to go pick up the snow. And I'm thinking it's going to be, because I have seen snow before. I'm thinking it's going to be that soft snow. You kind of, like, pick it up and you, like, can put it into a little ball and, like, throw it at each other. And be like, hee, hee, hee. And it wasn't like that. <laughs> it's hard to replace real snow. It was literally just, like, it was literally a block of ice. It's, and I'm like, yeah. wait, I, I got to, 
let me step on this so I can make a, a snowball or something. I'm like, what's going on here? And you know, and then if you don't have traditions, <laughs> right? And maybe let's say you didn't have family before, right? You were adopted or something happened and you're by yourself. You don't, you can still start these traditions by yourself. And then when you do create your own family, you can instill these and you can create your own traditions with them. And that can be a number of different things. That could be baking cookies. You know, making hot cocoa for each other and enjoying that together. Watching Christmas movies all day and getting in the spirit like that. Singing Christmas carols. Because there's different people out there. They like to sing. They like I, to enjoy themselves. I really, like, I would I would pay so much money to see you sing a Christmas carol this year. I'll sing a Christmas carol. Really? For charity. Okay, let's do it. But all I you guys are going to have to donate some money if I sing. <laughs> this is going to be good. And Make that, sure you guys get actually, this on I'll, camera. I'll put it on the show, too. <laughs> But I gotta get some donations. I've never seen John sing outside of maybe a slight little rap song. Are you like, kidding me? Not a carol. What? La 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 I don't la, gotta la. sing that one. No, I get to pick the carol. Rudolph the Red No, 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 no That's no, no, a Christmas no, no, no. carol. We're gonna pick a carol for him. We're gonna do a poll. That's not in the contract. Yep, we're gonna do no. a poll on I got Facebook. Crea- I got creative overlook on this thing. Let's go. We're doing it. <laughs> But, I mean, that's just what—that's another thing, right? And then, listen, if you live up north and you do got snow, you can take your kids, you know, sledding, right? Snowmobiling, like all different types of things. When I grew up as a kid, that was the big thing. It was snowmobiling. It was being around, you know, outside, enjoying the snow and all that, and having these traditions where family came over and such. But listen, you make the decision about what gets you in the holiday spirit. All I know is you got to get there. So get there however you can, all right? That's the point. All right, guys, we love you. Thank you guys for joining us for another Cupid's Corner. And guess what? We're going to be coming back at you guys the rest of this month and all 2022. (laughs) So set those DVRs for ABC at 11 a.m., right? And if not, you guys can watch us on YouTube. Just type in Type Medical Center. All the shows will be there as well. So we love you guys. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.